Oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't even notice you there. Yeah, it's really been a while since we saw each other last. I must admit that. A lot have changed since then. Lots have happened. I got a new ship. New job. Earned a lot of money. So, uh... I suppose I've become a real star citizen after all. But um, I'm heading to the uh, to the convention center. Um, there's a lot going on. I had a lot of experience and a lot of enjoyment last uh, last night. So, uh, well, while we get on our way, let me uh, let me tell you about it. I was about to finish my day delivering boxes as I tend to do at these times. And then I heard on my intercom that the Navy was going to present some of their big ships at various places. So I finished as quickly as I could. Went away to Microtech to deliver the boxes. Hoping that I could get there in time, in order for me to see those big ships, I have been told that it should be some of the biggest capital ships that the Navy is using at the moment. Arriving, going to New Babbage, which is also a new place for me, very exciting, but unfortunately I haven't had time to well, really explore it yet, because I've just been working, working and working all the time. Delivering boxes, delivering goods to people. So the idea was that I wanted to go and deliver these boxes as quick as I could, because I told that there was a half an hour or something like that before the Navy would arrive and I would really like to be the first one to see those big ships. So getting there, delivering the blocks was the goal. Landing the ship as nice and gently as I could. Landing successful. Hurried out of the seat to grab that box that I had to deliver. And I'm telling you. Going out of the stairs with those boxes in one hand, that is pretty tough. They are quite heavy and quite big. So I went and delivered the first box. And the second box. The third box. And finally I could get to deliver my final fourth box. Waiting there anxiously to hoping that it will accept it. Which it did. Into the ship and away to Hurston. Selecting the correct waypoint in the Moby class map and then away. I wanted to get there as fast as possible, so I was really hurrying. Quantum travel complete. 
There it was. The final waypoint to Hurston. Spooling up the drive, calibrating, and then engaging the quantum drive. And away I was. I arrived at Hurston and was eager to find where the space station was. I was told on the radio, the intercom, that is, that it should be at the space station. But of course, as my luck would have it, the police came and wanted to scan my vehicle. I got away though, safely, that is and finally found the Invictus launch fleet. Looking for a place to land. Found it. Landed the ship. Turned off the ship and got out as fast as I could. I ran as fast as I could, getting to the elevator, knowing that I had to go to one of the security terminals, as far as I remember it, that is. They were called security docks, I found out, but I knew where I had to go. And I arrived. I walked slowly, not to let the Navy thinking that I was up to something bad. And I just looked. There was one of those ships. I've never seen that kind of ship before. It looked big. I was later told that that ship there was called the Idris or Idris. That it was a frigate class ship, meaning really big. But I was also told that I should definitely wait for the big ship arriving. And then I saw fireworks. Something was definitely going to happen right now. I walked out on what appeared to be a gangway. So I could get a better view of whatever was coming. And there it was. Just got a glimpse of it. Walked out a little further. They, those were definitely nice fireworks. There it was. Initially, it didn't look that big. But when it got closer, I could definitely see that it was ginormous. I just stood there, in awe, looking at this gigantic ship approaching the dock. Initially, when I looked at it, I thought to myself, that ship has got to be at least 500 meters long. I was later told that it was a destroyer class capital ship called the Javelin. And it was approximately 470 meters long, so I was not far off, but I just stood there. I was later told by some of the other people attending uh, the same display here, that 
this kind of ship, this capital class ship here, would actually be one of the ships that would be available for uh, civilians to uh, to buy. I also took a look at some of the small fighter planes, and and it is only, in my opinion, in the comparison between the fighter jets and that big ship there that you really appreciate the big size of this destroyer. So I really wanted to try to get a little bit closer to these big ships, so I took another elevator, arrived at one of the docks where the Idris was parked, and I tried to jump and succeeded. So I took sort of a spacewalk towards these ships, and I was amazed by the sheer size of these ships. I thought when I took a look at the Freelancer that I bought, the Freelancer Max, for the first time, that that was a huge ship. But it is a miniature compared with even the Idris type ship here. It is incredible big. But still, I wanted to get closer to the star of the show, the Javelin. And so I did. Nearing to Javelin, I could already see, comparing with the ships down there, that it was huge. Incredible big. It is only when I got really up close and personal with this ship here that I really could see and truly appreciate how just extremely big this ship was. It was not just big, it was gigantic, ginormous, as the word I used before. It was, I was speechless. But then again, I was alone in my EVA suit, so there was really no one there to really talk to, besides if I had to open a communication channel, but I wouldn't really know what to say. I just took it all in and enjoyed it. And then I neared something that I at first thought was just some construction. But then I saw it was two gigantic laser guns sitting up top of the ship. And I found out that this ship actually has two of those. I roughly scaled them at that time to be about the size of my Freelancer Max. That really puts it in perspective how big this ship is. How incredible big this ship is. And then I heard something. And I looked. Apparently there was some barrier keeping people from entering or getting too close to these navy ships. While that was going on, the navy left, so I had to hurry and fly to Arco instead. And then I stayed above uh, Bajini Point, I think it's called, that station, where they arrived again. I tried to scan some of the vessels to find out what was going on there and then I found out, then it occurred to me that all those ships that I could see on my scanner were fellow star citizens enjoying the view. Just imagine what an incredible power the navy with these vessels have to 
make us all feel as one unity. Even though I came from another time and also another world, I felt like I was truly part of this world here, this, this solar system. Not just the world, but the system in itself. And that I can tell you was an incredible feeling. I was now really a citizen of Stanton. That was how I felt. But, as you know me, I wanted to try to get closer to the javelin once more. Now, while the ships here were in the sun, you could better appreciate how they looked. And I was wondering what that thing in front of the Idris was, is. It looks like sort of a battering, battering ram or something like that. So maybe it's simply so that the ships could, uh, well, ram another ship. I EVA'd out once again from my ship. This time I didn't land. I just wanted to get closer once again. Now that the javelin was in the sun, I would be much a better able to appreciate how it looked, how it looks. And I'm telling you, when you get close to this ship, when you look at it, it is incredible. I thought to myself initially, I want one of those. I want Javelin. But then it occurred to me that right now, my current crew is the size of one. And a ship this size cannot be controlled alone by just one person, not by a long shot. So maybe if I had to do something, I would have to enlist somewhere, someone's crew, join those if they have a javelin. But, uh... Sorry. Due to inactivity, we have been forced to assign your landing zone to another customer. Huh? Oh, my ship, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. I got closer. To the javelin, once more. And I'm truly, desperately trying to convey to you the feeling I got. A feeling of being minuscule compared to this gigantic navy vessel. And even so more incredible was the feeling when I saw my fellow star citizen flying around with me around this huge ship and seeing how small they were, how incredible small they were compared to this ship. It was an amazing feeling and I will only hope that you at some point get the opportunity to get close to one of these ships and feel the same feeling that I did. Both, both the feeling of being part of something bigger, joining with my fellow citizens in appreciating the strength and, and, and sheer power of these Navy vessels, but also just as much the feeling of being well, well protected. These ships have enough firepower to almost lay an entire pirate army to rest, to destroy them completely. Now, I d haven't been told how many vessels the Navy have of these, these kind, but perhaps they have some. Yes, as you saw there, as I tried to tell you, flying around in a spacesuit above Arkorp, this, this planet that is one entire city. Man, I'm telling you, it is a very special feeling. I have had a lot of feelings, good feelings and bad feelings. Good feelings being part of the uh, 
the uh, resistance against the combine feelings of being incredible incredible incapable of performance doing jobs as a trucker it went horrible as i've told you but this feeling here was an incredible nice an incredible good feeling a feeling of being something part of something special and i cannot express how grateful i am to be part of it all right now i think i have given you enough of my emotional outburst here let me try to tell you what i saw so i wanted to try to compare my own size with the ship so i tried to fly in in small crevices and small parts of the ship and even parts of the ship that looked small when you got close to them they were big gigantic incredible big so big that I don't know how to express it. It was an incredible feeling. That's for sure. It seemed that someone was trying to scan for vessels or scan the ships. I'm not sure who. But I stood there, or oh, actually, I floated there in awe of this ship. And even looking at the side turrets of the ship, the broad side of the ship, the turrets themselves had turrets. There were turrets upon, above, on top of the turrets. There were smaller turrets on top of the bigger turrets. And those top and bottom guns, dorsal and whatever they called guns they were i mean huge even as i flied in between the engines and tried to sort of compare myself there i was always almost stuck between two engines uh, but i managed to get through it was an incredible incredible cool feeling I wish I could tell you, look at this, look at this ship. So one way I wanted to try to compare my size with the ship was to fly into one of those holes that I saw. And those holes, I could almost fit into them. They were a little bit smaller than me. The big hole was the size of me. Actually, it was a pretty good deal larger than me. And imagine that I am smaller than that little hole. I think someone a bit smaller than me could actually crawl in there. But I'm not sure what they were for. for. I was almost stuck once again. I know that what I'm telling you is that I just flying back and forth over this ship. But I'm telling you I was amazed by it. Sincerely I was completely amazed. I tried to sort of step on it, but, well, with zero G, it's a bit hard to do that. But still, I think that I got to see what I wanted to see of this ship. So right now, I, would, I was just playing a little bit around, almost breaking my legs in doing so. Flying over what appears to be the bridge with tinted glass oh I would have loved to step place in that I looked at the engine and it seems that it fired up so if it, that were the case that they were leaving I certainly want to leave too because I don't want to be caught hammered down by a ship this size So I landed on the platform after flying a bit around and looking at that ship, the Javelin. 
I wanted to take a closer look at these smaller fighters, also to compare the size, because when you look at it from afar, you can see that these fighters who can easily hold one person, and wings, fuel, armament, guns, all that, you can take perhaps 20, maybe 100 of those, lining up nose to toe or nose to tail over the javelin and, and place perhaps hundreds, tens of them. So that was just for size comparison, it was incredible to see that. But also these navy fighters, they were also pretty pretty nice. I was I later found out that these fighters here were called uh lightnings. I think it was Anvil that created them. And yes, once again the javelin took off, left the system, and I just stood there, looked at it. It's magnificence. I know I'm so sounding like an old fool in love, but I have seen buildings so big that they were, the clouds covered the top of them. The combined central building where I used to live, I'm telling you, I have never seen anything like this before. And I almost thought that that Idris behind my ship was going to ram it, but the closer I got, I saw that it was actually a pretty good deal far away. So I wanted to enter my ship and try to fly alongside these great Navy vessels. Initially, I had a little bit of trouble finding out where the javelin actually went. But I followed one of the Idris ships and got the idea eventually where they were. Flying alongside the Idris, it was... just look at it. It is incredible big. I can't even... I know I'm saying this a lot, but I'm telling you. The feeling... This was something special. Then I found it. Finally, I found the javelin on its way. And I was just... Oh, if you were sitting next to me, I would say, look at that. Just look at it. Look at the size comparison between the gun and that freelancer Max. The gun of the ship is bigger, longer than the Freelancer Max. It's longer than my ship. And then I saw that someone was, uh, for some reason I cannot really figure out, trying to attack the Navy vessels. And I can assure you, they didn't succeed. Because when the Javelin pointed those big broadside guns towards the ship that was attacking them it was bye bye ship it didn't even get to uh, point the big top guns towards that ship I was later told that it was something called an Constellation Andromeda class ship that was there. So after enjoying the view of these lovely, lovely big navy ships, I wanted to go and see the exhibit. In relation to this fleet week here, I was told that down on Arcorp, in area 18 there was a convention center that has just opened where you could you could see some of the different manufacturers their ships and you could also rent them 
if you wanted to. So I landed my ship. And found my way to the convention center. As always, taking the bus, or in this case, a tram, I think they call it. Wow. That was a big building, I'm telling you. And I want to take you there. Sometimes. So, well, I think, what about today? Le I want to take you there today. When, of course, I have finished my little conversation with you here. The Invictus launch week. I was very eager to see what kind of vessels they were going to present here, what kind of vehicles, or whatever they had. I wanted to buy some merchandise, but uh, well, that is going to be for another time, another place. I was off to see these big ships. So from the elevator, it seemed that it was RSI, Robert Space Industries, and Origin that had put ships on display for this time. So I was pretty eager to see especially what Robert Space Industries they had to offer at this moment. But also I have been told that Origin, they make nice, lovely, beautiful, elegant luxury ships and well despite being a worker or anything like that who wouldn't want to experience a little luxury while flying around the stars so i found a little area where they apparently also had holographic displays of ship that they that was either in production or just weren't able to be fitted into the exhibit area so i found out that the ship i looked at here was the constellation taurus a new one of these constellation ships and if you look at that ship that was the kind of ship that the javelin apparently took out in what was it five seconds and then I saw another ship that looked much bigger. And I found out that Robert Space Industries make a Corvette class called the Polaris. A huge ship. One of the smaller capital sized ships, but yet again, a big ship. A really big ship. And I went on, because I wanted to see some of the real ships, not just these holographic projections. The first ship I saw was called a Mantis. Apparently a ship that is able to pull people out of quantum drive and then keep them there. And then I saw it, the constellation Andromeda. And I th looked at it and I thought, whoa! That is one big ship. There was also a Phoenix, which I later found out was the luxury variant. And I saw that I could rent it for one day for nothing. Absolutely nothing. What an incredible thing. But I decided that I wanted to keep on looking. And so I saw the ship that I wanted in the future i was instantly in love with this constellation aquila an exploration ship designed to investigate and explore and then my eye caught an old friend the aurora the very first ship i loaned <laughs> here in the stanton system 
Yeah, I know. Practically, I did steal it. But it was a good sight after all to see that little ship once again. I tried to look at one of the other exhibits that they have for holographic projections, but I left pretty quickly because I saw that it was the same ships that they had on display. So uh, no reason to go down there and look any further. So I went back. And I saw it again, one of the origin luxury ships, explorer ships. But I wasn't really interested in it because, well, I'm a trader and delivery guy. So, yeah. I went back to my apartment and, uh, well, here I am talking to you right now. 